The terrorists, they saw me and they shot me on my leg. My little sister, she went to this festival with her best friend and none of them came back. I got a message on WhatsApp. He was murdered and burned alive in his car. So I'm here at the Nova exhibit in Los Angeles. I am here with actual Nova survivors and family members to walk me through the exhibit so they can tell me what it was like on the day of October 7th at the music festival. Before the 7th of October, this is where our happy, safe life. And today, it's bring a lot of pain. I miss my other life. There's something very terrifying about one minute you're dancing and the next you're scared you're not going to be able to ever walk again if you're even lucky enough to, to survive this. You think? <laughs> At 10 in the morning, the terrorists, they saw me and they shot me on my leg. I was under a tank for seven hours. And I remember I called my mom and I said, Mom, I love you, but I think I'm going to die. My life is changed forever. I feel I, I have a mission to, to share the truth about what happened to us on October 7 until now. My little sister, she went to this festival with her best friend and none of them came back. She was just out to be a woman and independent and she wanted to travel the world. When the rocket attack started, she did the most responsible thing and she went with her friend to find the same place. And they didn't understand how big is the situation. She called and you were texting you? She was calling us and she told us that she was driving now back home. And the police officers told her to go to find a shelter. The terrorists who came to my sister and shelter, they were dressing like army soldiers, our army soldiers. They were soldier. just like idea. So one, some of them were thinking that they are coming to save them, and when they went outside, they just shot them. You can see on her face that she's afraid. This is also the last pictures that all our kids took for their friends. She was the best sister ever that I could, that I could wish and I feel like she's like my guardian angel right now. A war zone that I can't even begin to describe how it looks like, to see people falling down, to see them everywhere, and you're just moving targets. It was very obvious that if they will see us, they will rape us. And at a certain point, they were passing by. I saw two of them, and at that moment, you're just freezing. You're like, you see them, and you can't move, you can't breathe. And I just wanted to die, and that, fear that I felt in that moment and how much I hated myself, my body, is something that I'm hunted by. I know that we have our hostages and everything that I was so afraid of is happening to others right now and I, I can't move on with life as long as they're there. We have to make sure that we do everything we can to get them back. I lost a friend that day and I remember at the beginning of the party I went to the dance floor he called my name and I saw him and I went to him and I gave him a big hug so about three days after the festival I got um, a message on whatsapp that his brother said that he was murdered and burned alive in his car I've seen his story a bit he's incredible yeah so he actually saved me then we send them our accurate location. He was hung the car, so that way, if we hear the car, we know that's him. And for me, the fact that he was so brave and selfless to not just go into this extremely dangerous zone, but to be so loud just in order for us to find him, it's, it's, it's beyond, I, I don't have the words. I think that everyone needs to remember that it happened to us. It can happen in Coachella. It can happen in Burning Man, Lollapalooza. It almost happened on Taylor Swift's concert. This exhibition is gonna be here for two or three months. People are gonna come here and then it's gonna stay with them for maybe a day or two. And for me, this is my reality. Like, this is my 24 seven. What am I supposed to do with that from now on is to be here, to share my story, to be the living voice <laughs> of so many people who won't. I can. That's my purpose from now on. I just wish people will believe that it happened in order for this to never happen again. You guys are so strong, so, so, so strong. 
to be able to do this. I feel like it's become so natural for you guys, but I hope you realize how powerful you guys are and how strong you are to be able to do this. The We Will Dance Again slogan means so much more than just dancing. It's we will live again, we will survive again, we will continue uh, the legacy of so many others that passed.